What's going on, everybody? I ain't filming a couple weeks. We ain't done any videos, but we're on another job. We just got through feeding cows. We got a lot of stuff going on with cattle still. Got that pickup fixed. Got the windows tinted on it. Anyway, uh, today, today we're uh, working on a creek. I missed out on a couple of jobs on film, but we're working on a creek today. We gotta take these trees out. We're gonna try to straighten this creek up. Right now, that guy that owns this place, the road is on the other side of the creek. It's washing out over there on the other side. We're gonna try to take this creek and straighten it out right through here. So that water will quit, quit swirling over there and cutting this road out. But first we gotta get all these trees out of the way. It's kind of a, kind of a t tough job because they need to come out. They don't really need to go down the bottom of the creek, but if we have to, we'll push them up against that bank and bury some of them. But we're trying to get them to where we can push them out here on the bank. We really need the track though, but anyway. We'll get some footage of it anyway. See how this goes. So we discussed this and I think the way these trees are all in beveled together up there and twined together, the way they're all pushing in together, I think it's best we just push them on down in the creek and try to put them on the other side of that creek and bury them. There's already a bunch of dead limber in the creek anyway, so. And the new water channel is gonna be right here underneath this dozer, so. It shouldn't be a problem. He's afraid that those are going to get hung up in there and then they're going to fall back on the dozer. And normally we wouldn't worry too much about it. I usually have limb risers, but I, this dozer, I didn't get them with it. The main reason I didn't get them is because it's such a pain to jack the cab up when they're on it. <laughs> he was afraid that was going to fall on him. <laughs> He dodged it though. But another reason is because we really don't want to scratch the paint if we can help it. You know, we're, we're going to get it scratched up. It's already kind of scuffed up in spots, but we just don't want to unnecessarily just scratch the heck out of it. So he'll work at this. We'll get these trees out of here.
going to go ahead and dam up this creek to stop the water over here because as it's running down in here since we dammed it up over there i didn't want it to get getting full where we were working at so i figured we better get this shut off before we get ahead of ourselves It's coming along see here the creek was going out and then going over towards the dozer and over around there and then back we're gonna make it just make a straight shot through here doing our best to get those trees down in the bottom of this thing on the edge it's kind of hard to do he's doing a good job at it though
was right in his way. I didn't realize it. This would be a little harder to get out. Boat art. Still real soft right there where you think the push. Probably ain't gonna work that way. Well, we're on the next number day number two over here now we had some fuel filter issues yesterday evening with that dozer i kind of expected that though uh we, we kind of expected to have some fuel filter issues with this dozer because it's been sitting so long it was pretty nasty but put a new one in it now she's running good so i imagine we'll go through several sets of fuel filters getting all this this thing all you know back in top shape but so far really liking really liking this machine but anyway coming along on this creek we'll get this opened up try to put as much dirt up on that side as we can on that bank we don't want that water to go back over there we want it to stay the course here so. We might even put a little crossing in here for the guy. Make this more of a low water crossing where you cross over, but not sure yet. The water is still coming down the creek and up where it's rose up quite a bit since last night. Hopefully we can get all this open back up without the excavator because really need an excavator in that situation, but we're gonna do our best with the dozer and not get stuck we'll see
with this dozer though is that ripper. Not that the bedrock makes a bad product. I think it, overall the product is fine. It's just the, the visibility on it sucks. And it don't go near enough high off the ground. It needs to be higher off the ground. They're mounting. The, the way they mount those, they're not long enough mounts. That ripper should be farther back off that dozer to where it can raise up higher. And you can see it. The veil's got it figured out. I think as far as the integrity of it and all is probably gonna be fine for what we do. It's all, I, I will say it is cheaper than the, there's a reason it's cheaper than the veil because it ain't a stout, but I think it's plenty stout for us. The only time I can see it ever being a problem as far as integrity of it is uh, when we build ponds, we get down about nine, 10 feet. Sometimes we hit that shell that you have to take off two ripper shanks and just use one ripper shank to get through it. And it's, it's terrible. It, it, it's hard on a dozer, it's hard on a ripper. It's like concrete, it's worse than concrete. We've actually had to use dynamite in the past, back when you could get dynamite to get through on some of that stuff. I never have, but my grandpa has. Can't do it no more, I don't guess. I guess you can if you go through a bunch of loopholes to get it. But not loopholes. Go through a lot of jump through hoops to get it, I guess. All the rules and regulations. But, but other than that, I, I mean I like the ripper, it's just it needs to be way higher off the ground. You it actually rope when you get into a situation like this, it damn near hits the ground just going through it. But it's uh, probably $10,000 cheaper than a Bell Ripper too. So I'm not complaining too much. It'll be just fine for us. Anyway, I gotta go get up my uh, plow tractor fueled up, ready to start plowing. We get this job done, I think we're gonna move over to one of my farms, fix some terraces and stuff. And uh, we gotta get the track owed to another job to build, dig a couple of pits this week, so. We got a lot going on. A lot of dirt work going on and a lot of tillage to do, so. They're talking more rain this weekend. We're definitely gonna have to try to get ahead of the curve on that. He's doing a heck of a job though. I couldn't have done this any better than him on this. He's doing good. Just, just, just how I would have done it. He probably gets too nervous with me sitting here watching him the whole time filming though. I know I would be. We gotta have that content. It's all about the content. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. He's doing a good job. This deal's working out pretty good. I think it looks good. We got the creek flowing again now. Brandon did a good job on this. I didn't think we were gonna be able to get up in there how soft it was. It's real soft, but it's flowing now. Good job. That should solve his problem. It's still gonna get up there. The water's gonna go up there, but. I don't think it's gonna sit there and swirl and cut out nothing. <clears throat> when it gets real big, it gets up out of the banks anyway. Up over, I think it gets this out of the keep it from eating out. Yeah. And there won't be a cow trail over there. He put a little rock down bottom of this. He could use it as a crossing if he wanted. Look at that. That's a good spot. Yeah, that blue rock. That bank over there. Turned out pretty nice. Good job. Well, I'm pretty impressed with this. He did an awesome job on this, getting all that done, getting it to real flow. I did not think we were gonna be able to get the water to come on down without a big rain to do it for us. But he got it done. Pretty impressed. Um, we moved the dozer over, he rotated it over to where I've been plowing today. 
it's been super windy. Uh, my goal was to uh, get the drone out and while I was plowing, uh, he could fix some terraces while I was plowing and get some good footage with the drone. I think it's gonna be real windy tomorrow too. It's real windy today, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go back over to the uh, tractor real fast and lock it up for the day. And uh, there's a slot change to rain tonight, but we're gonna see what it does and then go from there in the morning, I guess. We got the dozer and the tractor together now. Oh yeah, we did try out the ripper. I don't know if I told you all that on that. He used it quite a bit. Finally got some use on it. Neither one of us are real crazy about it though. We don't like it too much, but it's all right. We'll get, get a job done for us. super windy i spilt hydraulic oil the wind caught it all over this thing when i was putting some in it earlier it's nasty this whole tractor is nasty still i haven't clicked it yet but uh i'm gonna plow the rest of this tomorrow i'm gonna use this key i'm pretty sure i can lock the doors on that dozer with this key can't take the key out of that dozer. Can't take the key out of that dozer because the way the military ones are, are they? I guess so. They can't take them out and lose them. I don't know. I can't lock these doors. I don't think. Unless that pries off. Ain't that some crap. Got too many idiots running around here and be locking this thing up. See the way this key is, is got a beveled ignition. You can't take that key and I, I guess I could put a different ignition in it. And, or I could do that, but I sure wish I could take this off loose. And, lock this thing. I'll have to do more investigation on that. It's the only bad thing about that dozer is it's the most expensive one I ever bought and don't have much security measures to keep people out of it or from taking it or whatever. But I'm gonna fix that problem somehow. I need to at least be able to lock the doors on it. And then I got kill switches and whatnot hidden so no one knows how to get juiced to it but Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Tomorrow we're gonna, if it don't rain us out, we'll be firing these both up again. And doing a lot more, so. Catch y'all on the next one. As always, y'all like and subscribe if you don't mind. Keep digging, see ya.